Hello friends, in this video we will see one simple project using list view and the fragment list view inside the fragment ok this is a design we will take one fragment in the main activity inside the fragment we will add one list view ok to the list view we will add some city names Bangur, Mysore like that we will add some city names when I click on the Bangur the first fragment will be replaced by the second fragment in the activity and that's that when I click on the Bangur that will be visible in the fragment 2 ok when I click on the Mysore that will be visible in the fragment 2 ok this is our design hope you understand guys We'll take the new project. Now we'll add the first. Now first we'll add the fragments. New fragment. We'll take a blank fragment. Change the fragment to the my frag. I will name it to the my fragment. My frag one. Uncheck these two checkbox. Okay. Give finish. We need one more fragment. We'll add that one. Fragment. We'll add blank fragment. Change it to the my frag two. Uncheck these two. Otherwise, you'll get some unnecessary code. Finish. Okay. In the main activity, we require. In the main activity, we are displaying only one fragment and they're replacing the other fragment. For that, we require only one frame layout in the main activity. Change the Go to the main activity XML, change it to the linear layout, change the constant layout to the linear layout, change the orientation of the linear layout to the vertical because the or, uh, the linear layout is uh, by default, that's the word, or, orientation is uh, horizontal. We'll take one frame layout to display the result of the fragments. Width is match parent and the height should be wrap content. Okay, we'll give ID as a frame one. Go to the main activity. Okay. We need a five steps for the connection between the fragments and the activity. The first one is a fragment manager. Manager. This is the first step. Get support to fragment manager. The second one is a fragment transaction. Okay. We'll take variable t. That's a fragment manager variable is a manager dot begin transaction. Now we need to create of the object. Just click and Alt Enter. That error will go. Okay. The third step we need to create the fragment object of the fragment. Here only we need to create only one first fragment object. That's enough. Okay. Fragment one. Okay. Now we'll add t dot add. Here we are adding that fragment to the fragment transaction frame 1 comma the object of the fragment 1 t dot commit yeah that means we are added the fragment 1 to the activity now we'll design the fragment 1 xml in the fragment 1 xml we require only one list view okay we'll take the root element to the linear layout change the orientation to the vertical okay here we'll add one list view See inside the first fragment we will have one list view. Okay, with this match parent height is wrap content and the ID will be list one. Initialize the list view. First we'll declare the list view with a variable LP. Okay, to store the elements, to store the city name, I will take the, I will use array list. Okay, array list type is string because the city names type is string. string. We'll declare the variable as a l. Now we'll take the array adapter. Array adapter for the connection between the array list and the list view. Array adapter is like that. It's a, it's act as a bridge between the array list and the array adapter, uh, the list view. Sorry. Okay. Just control X. Just cut this one. Right on V. V means 
will give view v equals to this step is common in all the project okay i will initialize the list view will be equals to v dot find you by id not only find you by id will give the v dot find you by id the id is list one okay just press alt enter now initialize the array list using the new keyword because it is not visible to the user this one this uh, type of the array list is string now we will initialize the array adapter new array adapter okay in the earlier uh, okay without fragment we will use the this keyword but here we will use the get activity get activity dot all dot no no not all I will give an right dot I am not getting just wait a second oh that's a get activity not get activity not dot that is get activity comma and red dot r dot leave it that is get activity comma not dot okay and red dot r dot earlier we will use the this comma okay without the fragments simple comma l l is for the connection between the array list and the array adapter now we will lv dot set adapter now we need to set adapter to the list view also what is that adapter variable is a okay now we will add city name to the array list l dot add directly we will add i will add some city name bangalore Okay, I will add this last one. We will add, we'll add Chennai also. Okay. okay, now we added this city name. Now we will run NC for the verification. Okay. For every step, we need to run NC for the. It's added. First, now we added the fragment one to the main activity. We will run NC. Okay, here is the design. We added the, to the main activity. We added fragment one to the main activity. The design is when I click on the Bangalore, the this fragment will be replaced by the second fragment with the name. Okay, when I click on the Bangalore, okay, fragment one will be replaced and the fragment two will be appear, and the city name will also appear. Okay, for this we have list view when i click on the item in the list view that means there is a one method set item click listener this means on new on item click listener that means when i click on the item now we need to get that item string i will store in the variable string as l dot get position that means from the position we will get that item that will be stored in the variable as that is the type string okay now that 
city name is touring to the and I click on the Bangalore from the position we'll get that Bangalore that will be stored in the string variable as now we need to send okay don't send the data directly to the fragment to first we need to send to the main activity after that we need to send to the second fragment for that for that we need to give the create the object main activity object main activity min1 equals to we need to, don't use the new keyword we will directly give the get activity okay dot we will create a one first one method f1 just assume that there is a one method in the first activity f1 will pass that string s okay complete and click in the f1 and press alt enter that will automatically create the one method in the main activity just press enter enter okay now we will design the second fragment inside the second fragment for the displaying the result we require only one text views when I click on any item in the list view that will be display, display in the second fragment for that we require only one text view we will change the orientation to the vertical text view width is match parent and the height is wrapped in it I will give ID to the text view I will add some property to the text view height color text color that looks good okay. we will change the text color to the black by default it's a light grey color okay. now we'll increase the text size the TSP ok now the text view design also ok here that we are sending we are sending data to the fragment to now we got ok for that we again require the fragment manager fragment transaction these are all five steps should be repeated will be re repeat right now ok will be repeat fragment manager manager can get support from the fragment manager now the fragment transaction will change the name to the t1 that's a manager fragment manager variable we need to use I will change this variable to the manager1 manager1 dot begin transaction ok now we are sending data to the second fragment for that we need to create the object of the second fragment I will give the variable to the m22 I will use ok new my fragment 2 in the error just click press alt enter and I will go now we need to send the data we will use the bundle bundle b2 equals to new bundle ok here we use the put method b2 dot put string we are sending the string s yes by using the variable s ok string s yes. After that, object dot set arguments from the bundle. We are, we are telling that to the second fragment where set arguments from the bundle. T dot add, T1 dot add. T1 is the variable of the fragment transaction. Okay, T1 
you want to re replace here we need to replace the first fragment to the second fragment okay in the frame one frame layout okay. t1 dot commit the main activity code is over now we need to receive the data first we will declare the text view text view will variable t okay initialize the text view using the okay, first we will cut this one control x return here okay initialize the t text view t equals to find view by v dot find view by id press alt enter okay now we need to get the data that means we require the bundle bundle b equals to get arguments okay here we'll use one if condition that is not required we'll use if b is not equal to null we'll store the variable of the bundle into the one way one string b dot get a string that is smaller okay. yeah. now we will set this as to the text view t dot set text yes ok now we will run and see ok here is our design and I click on the bang board Okay, second fragment will be open. Okay. 